Well, Diego, back in action once again. We last saw you out in Mexico and we, you're now back on our first show back in the US. And this is exactly what you want, isn't it? To kind of keep staying active and, and keep that charge in the pro ranks. Yeah, for sure. Um, staying active is is the key to moving forward in the sport. So I'm just happy with um, with my activity and I'm happy to be back. How do you look back on that night in Guadalajara? I mean, it was against you know an undefeated fighter, a really rugged guy, and it really allowed you to you know unleash the full arsenal and you managed to get the stoppage as well. How, how do you how do you reflect on that night? Uh, it was a great night for me. Um, uh, like you said, a tough and defeated opponent. Um, it was nice to get those six rounds in, uh, and I got the stoppage in the sixth round, and just a great experience and uh, getting me ready for what's coming. You're well into the eight rounders now. You know, 12 and 0. You're still knocking these guys out. Really strong, really strong opposition, and you're in a really good place at the moment, aren't you? Just how much are you enjoying, you know, the run that you're on at the moment? Oh man, I'm loving it. It's it's crazy um, when I really stop and, and think about it. How I'm 12 and 0 now um, went by so fast, and I'm just um, enjoying the journey and um, happy with where I'm at. And the pace that you're moving at as well. You're one of the most active fighters in the stable, even during the pandemic as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is due to be your last eight rounder, right? Isn't it? Yeah. You're moving to the ten rounders now. Mm -hmm. How ready are you for that for that next step now? Uh, I feel like I'm ready. Um, I always said um, four and six round is uh, level one. And then uh, eight and 10 is level two with where I'm at right now. And I feel like I'm ready to step it up to 10 and then soon enough go to 12. And I guess it's a really good opportunity for you to make a big statement in moving up to the 10 round as well. You know, Lucas Abro, your, your next opponent on Saturday night, he's another big test for you, 12 and 0, 11 knockouts as well. Mm -hmm. Another, like I say, a really good opportunity for you to really showcase the skills again and, and make a statement in moving up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Lucas uh, is a, a good opponent, 12 and 0. I'm 12 and 0, so. Um, fighting these guys with uh, these uh, good records, it just um, shows everyone that uh, my caliber as a fighter and um, the abilities that I have. And I guess that caliber combined with the fact that you, you know, you've been spying with the likes of, you know, no mean thing, Canelo and yeah. David Benavides as well, uh, Gabe Rosado as well. How, how valuable uh, are those experiences in kind of preparing you for those top opposition and sort of getting you ready? Uh, those are really big um, experiences, sparring with the, some of the best fighters in the, in the world and guys who have a uh, crazy experience, way more experience than than I have, so just being in there with them and getting tips and, and things like that from them, it really boosts my confidence and just puts me on a, on a, on a great uh, path. I know you spoke recently as well about you know, your, your belief in that you can win a world title by age 22, and I think it surprises a lot of people that don't mm -hmm. know you that you're, you're still only 20 years old and yeah. you've done so much in the sport as well. I mean, you're incredibly confident in your path and, and, you know, and how, how quickly you can achieve that goal of becoming world champion. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's always been uh, since I was a little kid. Um, well, when I turned pro at 17, I, I thought that uh, five years from turning pro was uh, uh, like enough time for me to to learn and and get to where I need to be to to be able to compete for a world title, which has always been my dream. Um, and yeah, I, I think at 22 is when I'll have my man strength and enough experience to to really face anybody. What's been kind of key to that dominance as well? Because I know. You know, a lot of guys can go throughout their career and get, you know, even 20 and 0 and, you know, not face top opposition. But even from sort of midway through your career, you've been stepping up and facing these tough guys every single fight as well. Has that been really key to kind of building that confidence? Yeah, exactly, man. Um, every fight, I want to get as much experience as I can. I want to fight guys who are going to get me ready for, for those bigger fights when, when they do come. So, yeah, just uh, every fight we try to um, get an opponent that's going to teach me something and, and really help me develop as a, as a uh, fighter. And as you say as well, sort of coming into that man's strength as well, you're a bit of a monster at 20 years old. Your, mm -hmm. The size of you is incredible. But do you feel like you're going to stick at 168 or do you feel like you're going to move up to you know, 175 or 170? Uh, for now, I'm, I'm good at 168. I'm actually on weight right now. So um, I've been on weight for like the past two weeks, walking around like 170. So um, 168 is a good weight for me. I'm about to be there for a while. And again, the next step for you is moving into those 10 rounds. What do you feel like the statement you need to make on Saturday night is? What do you want to prove to people? Uh, I want to show everyone that um, even with, with these tough opponents, I'm still, I still get the job done the way I have been since uh, my pro debut. And um, show everyone that I'm ready to uh, step it up to the 10 rounder and um, soon be a contender in the division. And just finally, again, it is your toughest test to date. You know, similar record to you, 11 knockouts. How do you see it going? Uh, it's going to be a tough fight. Um, I expect uh, him to bring his A game and I'm really ready for this uh, test. So I'm just excited to go to work Saturday. Wish you all the best. Thanks, Diego. Thank you, Lewis.